Okay. Good morning to everyone attending, and thank you for joining our first direct glazing webinar in 2021. Today, we are lucky to have two experienced professionals that, we, that will be presenting for us, Karsten and Jochen. Karsten is a sales area manager in Germany, responsible for a sales team in the middle part of Germany. In his previous position, he was leading a group of field technicians, and he is also an application professional. You will see him on the left of the screen. Joachim is our technical expert and, a, and an application professional. He supports a sales team in Western Europe, specifically. Both are part of the overall vehicle repair and maintenance team for Loctite, Bondarite and Terrazon. You will see him on the right of your screen. If you have any questions during the webinar, please type them in the provided box and we will have a Q&A session at the end. Karsten and Joachim, the stage is yours. Yeah, thanks also from my side for clicking in. Um, I'm Karsten and together we would like to have a brief insight into the world of replacing windshield like a professional. Hello also from my side, my name is Joachim and uh, thanks for joining us today. Um, I think we will start right away. Just a short information, we both are tested negative so we can be on stage together. Thanks a lot, um, Carsten. What do we have prepared for today? Um, in our agenda, we have uh, three parts. And the first step of our session is windscreen and safety. Secondly, we, have, uh, we talk about solutions for misconception, including common issues. After that, we would like to give you a short insight about the special product range. Mm -hmm. OK. And uh, if you want to follow us a little better, just click on the right top and to enlarge the, the picture, you can see the bigger way. OK, so let's start with the first part and talk about Autoglass. OK, um, did you know that windscreen delivered safety? Of course I know. Um, the important thing is that the windscreen is also partly responsible for the structural integrity of the vehicle body. It's because of the bonding. You mean the adhesive or the application? I think it depends on both of it. Mm -hmm. um, so what about auto glass? On a car, I think everybody knows we find a lot of screens more and more. So, and uh, typically we find <clears throat> two types of glasses. One type is made from normal glass, bonded together with a plastic foil in between. So this is like a sandwich, you have a glass, you have a plastic foil, and then you have the other glass. This is called laminated safety glass. In case of an accident, this glass will break anyway but the glass splitters and they cannot fly away. They stick together. And so this endanger the passengers uh, for, yeah, prevents them and keep them safe. Also pedestrians walking around, nobody can hurt by glass. Therefore, laminated safety glass can be used in front screens. And there's another glass, toughened safety glass, toughened safety glass, on the other side, be completely different. Um, if you hit this, it shatters into millions and thousands of, of pieces, small cubes with round edges. They fly away everywhere, and then you can go all everywhere are the glasses. So, but the edges are round and they cannot hurt you, they cannot injure you. So this tough and safety glass is used on side screens and on Rear screens. And likewise uh, for glass lids of a pen as well. What? I had accidentally dropped the glass lids of our pen at home. It also shattered into millions of little glass cubes, and I had to swept them all up before my wife has noted anything. And she is still looking for the glass lid. Could she find it? Uh, no. Um, okay, windscreen and sandwich, that's uh, clear for me. Anything else? Um, of course, anything else. So, laminated safety glass is one part. 
properly kept in place by a high-performing windscreen adhesive, the passengers are protected against ejection. Well, they cannot fall out because the inside the, the, the passenger cell is closed. So this is important part <clears throat> about safety protection. Another part is the airbag. Means <clears throat> the glass itself, if it is bonded here in, in the calf body frame. So on the UK guys, they have the steering wheel on this side. Yeah. So the airbag, if this inflates, it has a steering wheel as a backdrop. So the driver is bumping into the airbag and the steering wheel holds the airbag in place. Other situation <clears throat> is the co-driver. There is no steering wheel and there's only the glass who keeps and holds the airbag in place as a backdrop. And therefore it's essential that the windscreen stays in place, hold by the adhesive. So the airbag is part, uh, the, the, the windscreen is also part of the safety in terms of airbag inflation. When it comes to um, impact resistance, the windscreen has another function. So the impact energy, which comes in the front of crash, for example, will be guided through the pillars into the roof, into the floor. And in this case, there's another sandwich. We have the glass, we have the adhesive in between, and we have the body frame. So, and this sandwich must absorb a lot of energy in terms of an accident. So, and the stronger the sandwich is, the safer are the passengers. And I would say there is nothing that is too safe. When a windscreen has been changed, the driver and its passengers must be safe. That's for sure. Therefore, we keep improving our product performance and we push the level of safety standard for our end customers and for our users yeah, beyond the industry norm. And we prove this also by crash tests. And with a new generation of windscreen adhesives, we developed together with our partners. We know these are these products are designed for safety from vehicle production to the automotive aftermarket. Okay, safety. Um, the part of safety is very important to us in terms of the adhesive construction. On this slide, you can see two crash test scenarios. Firstly. On the left side, shown the FMVSS, which is the first standard that has been developed. This was in the 1970s. Was the, it in the 60s? No, in the 70s. Okay. okay. Um, the important part of this test is that after a crash with 48 kilometers per hour frontal impact into a solid concrete block, the screen must remain in the car body. <laughs> And this is performed with dummies. Yes, of course. And the dummies are belted. Right. I think even if the dummies are belted and they bump forward, there is an additional stress to the screen and the bond line. Yeah. Um, even more stress you will have if the speed is higher and the part of overlap is smaller, mm -hmm. which is shown on the right side. Okay. And this crash scenario is more common in our daily life. Uh, faster driving and brave attempts to avoid accidents leads to new test conditions. The Euro NCAP new car assessment program reflects a common urban crash scenario. This is an impact into a deformable barrier with 40% okay. um, of the car front surface. Mm -hmm at a speed of 64 kilometers per hour. It's faster. It's okay. faster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hereby, the attention is set on the safety of the passengers in terms of deformation of the car body. Nothing to do with the windscreen itself. Mm -hmm. These tested cars haven't had a life on the road before. 
the NCAP tests are performed with brand new cars in every day's life or cars on the road or used. So what would be consequence out of this? Yeah. Hmm. Let me think a while. So we have two different test scenarios. One is reflecting passenger safety. One is reflecting a higher crash energy. So I would say the consequence out of this should be you would have a used car for testing, should have a, a higher speed, like an urban crash test scenario, and then we should respect the passenger safety in terms of a freshly changed windscreen. So this would be a test scenario which um, could help us to improve the standard. Exactly, that's the angle way. Wow. Um, we combine both tests and add a used car to gain the highest benefit for our customers. Mm -hmm. um, we take a used car, okay. change the windscreen, then we wait some time. Mm -hmm. And after that, we crash this car into a deformable barrier with a speed of 64 kilometers per hour um, with an overlap of mm -hmm. 40%. Okay. And following, um, we check the position of the windscreen. And it must stay in place, I guess. Really? Yeah. OK, so that the passengers are secured in case of an accident, the windscreen must stay in place. OK, so um, to get more impressions on how this looks, this kind of accident, um, we have prepared a small scenario. So um, film up, movie up um, to get an impression on how this adhesive is working. So you see the car is running against this blue deformable barrier with an overlap of 40%. And wow, look at this jump. Unbelievable. This is impressive to see. Enormous energy in this crash and just hold by a small bead of adhesive around the glass, keeps the screen in place and protects the passengers. Um, and this after freshly changed windscreen. So for me, there is now essential question for all workers in the garages. Um, how long? Do we have to wait to get back on the road and survive safely um, after the windscreen has been changed? So well, how long do we have to wait? You mean the safe drive away time? Yeah, safe drive away time. What is this? Um, safe drive away time is the minimum time you have to wait after changing the screen, means put the screen, the new screen, into the car body, and then giving the key to the customer. So the time in between is the minimum waiting time, which is the safe drive away time. And for a better understanding for everybody, we print it on our cartridges. We print this number on our cartridges. Look here. So this is the safe drive away time in minutes. We wrote it down here on each cartridge and we see, yeah. Um, the numbers give you very easily an idea how long you have to wait. The humidity, which is needed for the curing process, um, is also depending. And for a serious calculation, we relate this drive away time always to the normal conditions, which are 23 degrees Celsius and 50% humidity. So then we can compare in the same conditions, the different products to calculate safe drive away time. Um, and this leads me to the next 
question or the most common misconception, which we would like to highlight in the next few slides. Um, the most common misconception I incur is that the idea of some people is that this drive away time is the same like the curing time. So, Carsten, do you think that's true? No, no. Um, but I'm sure you can explain why not. Okay, let's have a short look and repeat the meaning of what is the safe drive away time. As well, after that, the queuing time. Okay, so as mentioned before, we want our customer being safe when he or she, when they driving away. It can happen that they will be involved in a serious accident. So in such a case, the windscreen must stay in place and needs to protect the driver and co-driver. So the security will be given um, by the adhesive, which is in between the glass and the car body. And um, the only question is, how long do we have to wait to give the adhesive the chance for building up the necessary strength? to withstand such a new Hankel crash test. So, and the safe drive away time exactly shows us this time. And this is printed in a big number on our cartridges. Yeah. Um, what happens during time? During this time, what happens? Yeah. Easy to say. So, the adhesive is here, the glass is on top. What happens? it goes in contact with humidity. That's a curing process. So a curing process is taking place and the most common, uh, the most um, 1K materials, they have a curing rate between three and four millimeters in the first 24 hours. In the first 24 hours, we have three to four millimeters? Yep. And we have a safe drive away time, one hour for this product. That means how wide is the curing? The curing is about. Okay. Huh? So a very thin skin has been cured already after one hour, for example. And here is the difference between the products. How strong, how is the strength? how high is the strength of this thin skin together with the not cured adhesive in between in the right place applied, holding the screen in place in case of such an accident like we have shown it here. So, and um, yeah, how this will happen, how this process is going on, we um, have prepared a um, short um, animation to explain you how this process is going on. So on the next slide, we will compare um, the one component and the two component systems or two different types of adhesives. Firstly, we would have a short insight into the one component product. Um, so let's run this animation and I will explain you how this is working. <clears throat> First of all, we have um, a car which needs to be changed. The windscreen is prepared, freshly cleaned, and then we apply, like here, the primer, let it evaporate, and then we apply one component polyurethane adhesive on the glass. Glass into the carbon frame, and now starts the safe drive away time. What happens then? Here we have the carbon here, um, a, session, a section of this, the remaining bead, or if it is freshly painted, we have here then the prime on top. Put the glass with the adhesive into the frame, and um, here you can easily see the sandwich. So the humidity from the outside goes into contact with the open surface of the adhesive and the curing process is taking place. So this is going further on. And after one hour, after if 
France, we have queued three to four millimeters from the outside to the inside, and later on it's queued further on. So this is the one component curing process. Easily explained, we have two areas where the humidity can connect to the adhesive, and which is not covered by the glass and the frame. So this side gets in touch with the humidity and starts forming a thin skin. And this builds up a strength. So the two component material is working differently. The two component does not need the humidity from outside. So we have two components mixed together and we will see it right now how this is working. Also here we have the screen prepared, white primer. In this case we have to wait a little bit longer. Final operation, 15 minutes. And the A component, first component, and we have a second component screwed on the cartridge, which needs an accelerator inside and also a mixing system. When you start applying the product, it fills the container, get mixed in the mixing system, and after the mixing process is perfectly done, it comes out of the container through the nozzle, and then we apply the product on the screen and put the screen in place. Same like here, you can see the section between the car body frame. We um, put the screen in place with the adhesive on top of this primer surface, or if we have a flat cut bead, fresh cut bead directly on this bead. And then what happens after it is installed? The queuing is taking place inside the material. The product cures by itself because of the mixing. And there's a carbon dioxide evaporating. And the only thing that happens is that the viscosity of the adhesive is increasing. There is no skin formation. Just the adhesive gets stronger and stronger and stronger, holding the screen in place and building up the adhesion. So now I assume that Rosan is happy that we have solved this misconception forever. Um, I can see that our audience is looking for who's Rosan. This one, yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the, it's a cartridge with the green belt and the sliding nozzle in the head. Um, the brother of Loctite? Of Lock. The brother of Lock, Lock. Yeah. yeah. You will see them later on in action. Yeah. And I'm curious to see what you have prepared. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's follow with um, some other common issues. Long stringing adhesive is a very common issue. Oh, yeah. For cooking, it's essential that we have long stringing for barbecue, pizza, no noodles? Carsten, no. we are here for bonding. Okay. Not for cooking. Um, Gordon and Jamie are next door. So their show is over there. So we are here for bonding and not cooking. So this long string is, um, yeah. When we apply the adhesive on the surface, on the glass, and we come to the end and we lift up the nozzle, the long string, it flips down. Okay. It can make some dirt and waste on the glass. Even more critical, it is when we apply it here on the car body frame. So we stop here, or we start here, and we stop, and we have to move, and then it flips around into the interior. Everything is a mess. Um, that's not quite cool. That's not cool, and therefore we are, I think we can agree that the long stringing adhesive is not really professional and not really good. So, um, yeah, a short stringing adhesive makes the application much safer as well, faster. Yeah, but uh, the most adhesives which have no stringing are hard to apply because of its high viscosity. Uh, yeah. Um, it will be much easier for the applicator to have a 
softer material. Um, what do you think about it? I have to eat a little more, not spinach. I've learned a different word. Spinach. No. Spinach is green food. Yeah. yeah. Um, or like Popeye, get stronger arms. No, I'm just kidding. Um, they can use other application tools like battery tool, like pneumatical tool. So to be able to apply high viscose adhesive, you can use another tool because we need to have an adhesive which has um, a low, um, no, let's say in different words, and the English is quite difficult for me, um, with a good sag resistance, let's say it like this way. So a good sag resistance in the adhesive leads mostly to a higher viscosity. So in this case, uh, this is essential when we mount the screen to the car body. If we put the screen into the car with a soft adhesive, the screen is moving away. So we need to fix it with a tape or something like that. But even that is critical, it can sag down. So if it touches the car body, it can damage the paint, it can crack again later on, or it can create wind noise. But I think there's another point which is even more essential. Yes, you're right. Um, especially when the car is equipped with assistance systems like line assist or brake assist or cameras in general. Yep. Yeah. And in this case, if we have assistance systems and cameras mounted to the screen, it is essential that the screen stays in place. So don't have to sag away. It needs to stay in place because then the measurement is exactly. If the screen is moving forward, the measurement may change, and the result is then maybe a wrong calculation to distance somebody walking in front of the car, and then this can cause a major accident. So this we want to avoid. So you see, it's important for us to see uh, to use uh, adhesive with a high sag resistance. And the good news, most of the windscreens, windscreen adhesives we can find in the Premier League, um, they have this performance, they have these properties, and how this looks in real, uh, you can see it uh, during this application. We apply the Bond 60 in this case on a screen, vertically with a height of 20 millimeters and a base of only seven millimeter. And the adhesive is staying like a wall and with a stringing like nothing is staying in place. It will not sag down. And um, this is quality of high performing windscreen adhesive. Standability, high sag resistance and low or short stringing material. Carsten, yep. we can be sure, or we can, uh, I, I think it's okay. It's a low, low a product which has a good sag resistance is essential. And, um, Last week, I got a call from a customer, and uh, he claimed. So I said, "Okay, just uh, we, we got the windscreen here, and, uh, and we could see what is the problem. A leaking windscreen was the problem to destroy his electronic inside the car. His uh, infotainment system was broken." And and um, was killed by the water increase through a heavy rain. And then, um, yeah, the problem was a leaking windscreen. So here it comes to another point, what I would like to highlight. We can have the best adhesive with a low string, with a, a good sag resistance. We can have the best tool to apply the products. But if the adhesive is not in the right place, and the windscreen is not really installed properly, 
it will lead us to leaking windscreens. So to have a safe journey for our end user, we should do our job also wrong uh, in the right way. <laughs> First step, right? I say, all right. So windscreen application is very important for us that it is on the right place. Good. To summarize, to summarize uh, the solu solutions for misconceptions and common issues, um, the safe driver away time as the curing time. I agree. Okay. On that. Perfect. Short stringing adhesive also helps us to avoid mass and contamination of interior. Are we? Yeah. Right. Okay. Sag resistant adhesive gives safety uh, in terms of secure positioning of the windscreen. Okay. And well skilled and trained workers can avoid mistakes like leaking bond lines. Mm -hmm. And overall, this is the right way from crash to cash. Yeah. Perfect. At the final, we would like to spend some minutes to discover a product range which is able to fulfill all the needs we have talked about. Okay. And that's it. A dedicated range of products adapt to your needs. Um, depending on your situation, you can use a Bond 15, that's a favorite of mine. Yeah. yeah. Or a um, Bond or a Bond 60, or even another with a longer safe drive away time. Okay. So um, I would like to uh, highlight uh, a few of these products. We have already mentioned that there is the Bond 15, um, a quite good product. It's even an innovation, not for this time. Innovation uh, many years ago. Yeah. And never reached in the market till today, such a short drive away time. We all agree that 15 minutes is quite too short to reach this heavy crash test. So the Bond 15 just uh, uh, um, approved by the FMBSS to 12 to 08. Um, after 15 minutes, if you wait longer, okay, it will reach this safety level as well. Um, this is a product, warm applied, and we call it the triple 15, which is 15 minutes heating time, 15 minutes open time for application, and 15 minutes later, you can pass the key, and you're safe in terms of a standard crash test. So, um, then we have the range with 60 minutes drive away time. We have it in standard version, we have it in the primerless, and in control cure, which is then the two component version, and we have two other products um, in this range, which is a drive away time from 120 minutes or two hours and one with 480 minutes. Yeah. When we talk about safety, we also must talk about the application step by step. So as mentioned before, the adhesive is one thing. And in the day session, we want to highlight another major part of professional windscreen bonding. You can use the best adhesive in the world, but you need to give him also a chance to show its performance at its best. So I would like to ask you, Carsten, to take this camera yep. coming a little bit closer. And meanwhile, um, we will check the screen together with you um, to see um, the customer's problem with the leaking windscreen leads also to a security um, problem. So let's have a look. If we come a little bit closer on this, yes. Here, that's the screen. And when you have a look here, we have a white bead. And if we lift it up, you can see immediately that we have adhesion on this side, we have adhesion on this side. So the adhesive itself has been broken. But here in between, there is nothing. The adhesive is from the same cartridge. It's applied here and here. So how does it not have adhesion on here? 
You see? Ah, also here, it was folded together. So maybe an application failure. But when we look on this side over here, and we lift it up here, there is no application failure. The beat is completely, and as well here, we have the situation that we have adhesion on the surface here, adhesion on the surface here, but in the middle, there is nothing. No adhesion, and this is one of the major parts, what we have invented many years ago as a new process in preparing windscreens before bonding. Clean, abrade, clean. And in this case, cleaning with our solvent-free version, we can use this one, we are 100 with a sponge as an abrasion system absorbing the dirt. And uh, when it comes to the step-by-step, -step, it always starts with the right cleaning, preparing the surface. Never touch it again. Be careful that your fingers are not contaminated with any grease or silicones from the, the moldings around. And it's easily to get in touch with the surface and then your work is gone. So please be careful in cleaning and do this job right. And we apply the primer and then we apply <coughs> the adhesive on the, on the primer. The frame is prepared and cleaned as well. And then we put the screen back in place. We wait a certain time, which is the drive away time, minimum. And then we can go for calibration of the system and then giving the key back to our customer. So, a lot of information in a short time, compressed together. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, give us a call. Uh, if you have some questions while you have to select the product out of this wide range, um, it varies depending on the needs of the customer. We have several products, so make your selection. And um, if you need any help for digital learning, we have prepared a new website which is the Loctite Explorer. So you can click in and uh, let's see what we have prepared by Lock and Rosen. Yeah, a new online learning platform. Um, yeah, let's have a look on that. Just run it. So we will see what they have. Welcome to Loctite Explorer, a new online experience designed to help you make informed decisions within your area of expertise. Uh, the first two modules are now ready, so please say hello to Lock and Roson. These guys will guide you through the wonderful worlds of thread locking and windscreen replacement. Together, you will bust the craziest myths. Fix Locke's quad bike and gain access to tips and tricks from experienced experts right on your smartphone. Loctite Explore is absolutely free and you decide what topics are interesting for you. Try it today and become a true industrial assembly or vehicle repair pro. Sounds good. Cool, huh? These guys. So do the training over there, click in, learn something, and then you can print out also your um, certificate at the end of the test and put it on the wall. That's cool for your audience. And that's it for today. And I think we will get some, um, we have some questions. I will ask into the studio for our operator. So what is going on with uh, questions? Maybe we can answer them. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Karsten Joachim, for that interesting presentation. Um, we've got a few questions. Um, the first one is from Colin, who asks, um, why are some of our products not OEM approved? Oh, our products are OEM approved. So um, I will show you this one here. Look at this garbage. Yeah, they are OEM approved. So 
I hope this question is answered. Thank you very Please much. Me. Thanks for asking that. We have another question here. Um, is there a selection shot chart I can use to help me select the correct product? We can find them in our catalog, also on the website, regarding um, your needs, what you have. You can um, select regarding the drive away time. You can uh, select about the um, strengths, the final strengths or applica application behaviors. You want to have total applied or warm applied. Um, so depending on your needs, you can have uh, this table. It's in the catalog. You can also find this on our website, adhesive. Uh, Henkeladhesive.com. Yes, Henkel minus adhesive. Henkel minus adhesive.com, and uh, there you can find this table, and uh, to make the selection much easier. Thank you. And the last question we have for now: um, the VR solvent cleaner replace? Uh, sorry, does the VR one hundred cleaner replace solvent cleaners? It can replace, but some people, they, they use both. You know? Sometimes they use the solvent version uh, only, which is the VR10 together with the sponge. Or as a solvent-free version, you can use the, the VR100 together with the sponge on the bond surface. Uh, yeah. For Thank the glass, you very much. So... Replace Thank you. Um, that was the last question. Um, so I think that's the end of the webinar. Um, thank you very much for presenting. Thank you, everyone that attended. Um, do you have anything to add, Pastor Noyokin? Um, we would like to say thank you for your attention. Thanks, yeah. thanks for your audience. And um, if you go in touch with us, you can find us everywhere on YouTube, on Instagram, on LinkedIn, on Facebook. Also, just write us an email or click on the website. Even writing by hand and post it is possible to reach us. <laughs> okay, yeah. Thank Good. you. Thanks, Carsten. Thanks, George, in the, in the, as an operator. And stay self. And Good see fun. you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you very much.